set up an environment for front-end development, we need a code or text editor. And code or text editors are where we get to write in our code. There are so many types of code editors, but for this tutorial, we're going to be making a Visual Studio Code, VS Code, and in a few minutes, I'm going to be showing you how to install it. And we also need a browser, the normal browser we use when we surf on the internet. And this browser will enable us to view how our code looks like. How to write in our code for us to view how our designs has been, we use a browser. And this tutorial, we're also gonna be using the um, Google Chrome as a web browser because of some developer tools Google Chrome has, so it is most preferred. You can use any other browser, but I think it's the best if you just use Google Chrome. So let's install now. So, to install Google Chrome, add over now to google.com slash chrome. And when you see this page, just head over, just click on this button, download Chrome. I already have the latest version of Chrome installed, so I'm not going to install it again. And to download, currently it's for Windows 10 8.187 bits. So we'll just look for the one and just download. Okay. And um, so I could have told out of an out code at visualstudio.com. And when you usually get to this download box here, so click on it and you can select a specified one. If you're a Mac user, if you're a Windows or all Linux users, so select it. Well, before we go, can I see some of the benefits of using Visual Studio Code? All the text editors might not provide, like meet IntelliSense and again, print statement debugging is a teen of the past. Yes. And this is some of the opportunities. It's as G, G command built in, and it also has extensible and customizable. And that's why I love, actually love VS Code because of the extensions that's provided. You can use VS Code for any programming language, like to be due to the section, deploy with confidence and aid. So get started now. And your if your Windows is there, then just click on this to download. Currency Windows 7, 8, or 10. Either it's a support bit. So I don't know. Just click on this. If your Windows is there, and if you're a Linux user, then just click on this. And if you're a Mac user, click on this. So that's all for now. And make sure to install it. And while installing, make sure to check all the bugs. You have hacks to check. And once you're done with that, then you're ready to start coding, save my next video.